and he had to more than likely make room by parting from someone from his physical family. Look at this. Yeshua took two dysfunctional families and molded them into a new unit. Don't miss this. Yeshua's mother was about to lose her son. John was about to lose his rabbi. I'll say that again. Miriam was about to lose her son. Yochanan was about to lose his rabbi, his mentor. And yet through the Torah of Yeshua, they became a new, believing, reborn, remade family until the day Miriam died in Antioch. You think about what I'm telling you. Yeshua took two dysfunctional family and made a new nuclear family in the faith. Can, can it get any simpler than that? Can it get any simpler than that? It doesn't get any simpler than that. Did you get that, Theo? From these two dysfunctional families, because the, she had lost her son, she needed a son. Yochanan became her son. He needed a parent, because Yeshua was like a father. He was only 16. Yeshua was like a father to him. But Yeshua knew that his mother could be a positive influence as an adult in young Yochanan's life. And he said, woman, behold your son. Did Yeshua cry and give a million instructions how to fix everything when he's gone? No. He took two parts and made them a new lump. Are you getting this? You and your wife haven't spoken. You and your children haven't spoken. So what? Yahweh has taken you and made you part of a new lump, a new thing. Behold, he does a new thing in the earth. Shall he not declare it before it springs forth? To that I have. Yochanan Aleph, please. Yochanan Aleph, 1 John, chapter 2. Yochanan Aleph, chapter 2. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, Ahavot, because you've known him who is from Bereshit. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have come to know Ahava. I've written to you, Ahavot, because you have known him who is from Bereshit. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong. 1 John 2, 13 and 14. And the word of Yahweh stays in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. We read this so many times, brethren. And we don't see what Yahweh sees. How many have read this, th these verses more than once? Dr. Redner, more than once. More than once. But here's what Yahweh is saying. Yochanan, who is re the recipient of the new family unit that he received when Miriam became his mother and he became her son. You say to me, Rabbi, you don't know what I've gone through. I lost my son. Well, guess what? There are five sons right in this room waiting for adoption. Have you adopted any of them? By being a mother in the faith? or a mother in the Emunah. That's what it's all about. It's Yahweh taking the mess and making it a masterpiece. It's Yahweh taking a test and giving you a testimony. So Yohanan is outlining an overview of the new family Yahweh has placed in us and around us Containing spiritually strong fathers, young men, children. Fathers, young men, children. This is a description of a new supernatural nuclear family established upon his word, his blood, and his kingdom. This is not, as some teach, a description of a physical family. I'm John, and I'm writing to you, fathers, and I'm writing to you. No, 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 no. He is writing to the community of faith, and heaven's eye sees it as mature fathers, growing young men and babies in Yeshua, little children. And I'm writing to the whole family to encourage you in the things of Yahweh. 
He's not saying, hey dads, hey kids, hey, hey young men. No. He said, I'm writing to everybody in the supernatural new nuclear family. I'm writing to everybody. Because this family is built on the word. This family is built on the blood. This family is built on the kingdom and not the will of a man and a woman who begot and begat and begot and begat and begot and begat and begot and begat. Does any of this make sense? Arama, is this too complicated? Yes? No? It's too complicated? <laughs> no, no, it's too complicated. But you know there are teachers who teach this stuff, Ted? Ted, you know there are teachers who teach this? Well, here... Here the Lord is talking to the little children, then he's talking to the big children, then he's talking to the big daddy. No. He's showing you there's a new human family that you're part of, Amen. and Yeshua says you guys are where it's happening, not your old family. Amen. This is not a description of a physical family. It is a description of the new superhuman, excuse me, supernatural human family that he has put us in. Tinteus Ave. First Timothy 5.1. Is anybody enjoying? Yes. How about in the new room? Is anybody enjoying? I guess not. They're in meditation. First Timothy 5.1. Rebuke not a shamish. In other words, somebody comes in here. Well, I know Rabbi Moshe is not doing this right, and he's not doing the worship right, and she's, he's, not done, he's not doing this right, and 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 that's not the way he's supposed to be, and that's not the way he's supposed to be. Well, pardon me, moi. The word of Yahweh says, do not rebuke. What are we here? A shamash. When you publicly or privately oppose a leader, you are rebuking their practice. In other words, don't rebuke them and stand in their way. Don't treat your leaders at, by rebuke. Rather, treat them as Abba, fathers in the Emunah, faith. Treat the younger men as Israelite brothers. The elderly women, ah, as mothers. And the younger women as sisters. With all purity. Circle those words. Your women, the women in your family, the sisters in your family, the fathers in your family, the brothers in your family, the in-laws in your family are without purity. We are with purity. See, Celia should be treated as a mother in, in the family. Edna should be treated as a mother in the family. Abraham should be treated as the Israelite brother in the family. Little Nina should be treated as a young sister in the family. Why? Because all is purity, and purity is upon all. This is a wonderful human family. Even if we speak in tongues and we have the gifts and manifestations of the Ruach HaKodesh, by and large, at, at the point of contact, the, the, the bottom common denominator is we are a human family. Supernaturally put together, but still a human family. This is a new pure family has been given to us based, listen, not on records of wrongs and he did this and past records and injustices and, and, and so forth, perceived, perceived harm or harm in fact. Rather, it is a family built on purity. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? This family is built on the purity of Yeshua. Does that make a difference? You bet it makes a difference. The purification of the blood of Yeshua. So we are to admonish each other in the believing community of Yeshua because we are the new family and not the one born into it. You see what Yeshua did with his mother and John? Did you see what Yeshua did? He took a dysfunctional family that was in need of a corporate identity 
and built a new family 